<laughs> okay, so I've had a couple of different people on Tumblr pestering me to upload a quick video of my current sketchbook. Um, yeah, so here you go. My topic is nightmares. This is the front cover. My hand is multicoloured in physics today. So there's just a random piece of paper. That's got my name tag on, which I'm not zooming on. Okay, so I started with... Oh, gosh. No, you're not going to focus. There we go, it's focused. So I started by asking some people to fill in their phobias and things. And my laptop is really loud. And some nightmares. I think it's the other way around, if I'm honest. Um, I think this is the phobias. No, this is the dreams one. So I did that. Because when I was thinking of it, I didn't really have any phobias that I could think of. So this is my title page. And there's just a list of things. Brainstorm, so I knew where I was going. A handprint with blood dripping down it. Oh, gosh. There we go. Okay, so I immediately started looking at my first artist, Ben Tor. So I did a little biography, printed off some of his works. Okay, you can't see those because of the light. And then I did a study of one of his pictures. And that page is blank. And then I did another study of one of his pictures. Along with some writing which is a picture analysis and an evaluation. So that's that page. Oh, it looks so distorted on here. Then I did some experimenting because I've never really drawn people before this project. So I took a photo of an eye, drew the eye, then did it in a style I wanted to do. Took a picture of a mouth, drew the mouth, and then did that in the style I wanted it to be as well. Okay, and then I did my first self-portrait which I think is quite cool. Like It's just done in biro and cross-hatching because I had no idea how else to do it. So the mouth was really difficult as well. It sort of resembles me, but not much. And I've written about it. Focus. There we go. Uh, petrified portrait. So that's what I decided to name it. And then I did another picture, which I hate because it's so out of proportion and just wrong, but half of it's a skull and half of it's a person. So, yeah, you can see that. Um, then this is my personal favourite. It's a picture of me with blood dripping down or whatever. It's done in biro and watercolour. And I called it The Monster of the Night. Did some writing about it. And then we've got quick sketches, and writing. There is a lot of unfinished pages in this, by the way. So I hate these pages. These are experiments. So that was on cloth with gesso. Jesu, I don't know how you say it. Um, charcoal, oil pastel, soft pastel, watercolour, charcoal. Then I decided to look at... Edward Munch. Yeah. And so I studied the screen. Did some writing about it. Um, then this was my version. Yeah. So it's just done in oil pastel. It's nothing special really. Oh, it's changing colour. Okay. So then it gets onto more clowns, which you don't really get anything from. So I did some photos of me, and you don't know how cringy this page is for me. So then I edited some photos and wrote about them, and into this study in biro, red and black biro. So then I wrote about the picture you're about to see. 
And okay, you can't really see it very well, but this is done in oil pastel. Hang on, there we go. And I had to put a layer of like polythene or something. And then I hate this page. Proportions are all wrong, and the writing's really scruffy. So I'm just gonna bypass this one. And then this is just like on my. Oh, I haven't put that video on yet. Um, this is just red, blue, purple, orange, pretty much every colour put onto a page and then played around with, with a palette knife. These are eyes, in case you couldn't tell, and it was just experimenting, so the paint drips to the bottom. So this page isn't finished yet, it's just got a picture, acrylic picture of me on. Um, clown makeup styles, which I think are pretty cool. Focus! There we go. So, clown makeup styles, which personally I think are really cool. So you're lucky, today I've just done some more work which no one else has seen. So this was the makeup style I said go for in the end. So I had my friend come round and go out to pose. So we'll do one, two, three, and four. So personally I love these photos. But she looked more like and there was ooh, me as a clown. I can't really hold it above. There we go. So there's me as a clown. And me and my friend as a clown. And a blank page. And then me as a clown. Oh, curse! You're focusing amazingly a minute ago. Megan as a clown. Both of us! And then I painted a picture that I found on Google. A clown. No idea. And then, if you have my Tumblr, you should know how excited I was about this. This is my digital drawing of Megan. I did it using a graphics tablet. Just in case anyone was wondering. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. I just printed that out on A3 to stick in my sketchbook. And then... There's some photos of us playing with fire. Me and both of us. And then it's a blank page. I think this is it. Um, I'm going to have a segment on fire there. And there's some pictures. Um, if I go to the end, I can just show you. So I've got like makeup evaluation. I started with initial ideas, but I didn't know where to put them in my sketchbook. So I focus! Camera, come on! There we go. So, my first idea. So experimenting, just random doodles. So some mask experimenting. Experimenting on tissue. And more ideas. Valuation of ideas. Colour scale. And the start of another page. So I haven't really done this much for this project, but I'll include some photos of things I've done at home. And yeah, okay, so I think this is what you wanted to see anon. Um, if it's not, well, You've got this anyway. Thank you for watching and hit the subscribe button, like button, favourite and I'll see you all next time.